hello guys welcome back in this tutorial i am going to explain how you can easily develop a cred operation using php and mysql guys in this tutorial we will use jquery data table to render the data and to perform operation like add delete update on that table so guys uh, let's first see the uh, demo of this that uh, i have already developed here you can see here the screen this is the page actually here uh, this is the main page where all records will be listed in jquery data table where the we can add a new record here like from here this model and can edit the record and can delete the record so uh, we will uh, perform all the, uh, these op operation like listing uh, 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 records in table adding new record updating existing record and deleting the record so first uh, we will see the database of this so we have actually created the cred and this operation database in which we have a one table here uh, employee actually that uh, we have a uh, one table employee that uh, the structure of the table is like id is primary auto increment name skills worker address designation and age so these are the fields of our employee table that we are using here to perform the operation like storing uh, updating deleting inserting records in, uh, with this table so this is the uh, database table now uh, we'll see the code actually we have a uh, we have already developed the functionality of this here is a program uh, here is a, uh, the project name here is data uh, data data tables add edit delete in which we have a uh, files php files index.php this is the main file there is a employee.php class there is a config.php in which we have defined the connection mysql database connection details and we have action actually uh, it, uh, in this file we are handling the action to perform the uh, action also we have a js tag in which we have a uh, files like uh, actually here we are using the data tables jquery data tables so the here is the uh, library js file also we have a data.js file that we are that there is custom data file uh, js file in which we are handling the functionality uh, of our cred operations uh, also there is a directory inc in which we have uh, some common file like header footer container that we are using in our main page index.php and the other uh, here is a css uh, directory in which we have a data table dot push table dot min dot actually this is a css file from jquery data table library so this this is the structure of our project now we'll see the code so actually when we load the page actually here is the this is the index.php page so the main page is index.php so here first we will see the index.php here so this is the index.php file in which you can see here we have included the header file then we have included the jquery data tables js files then we have jquery data table css file and then we have a data.js file so these are the files here js files here then uh, we have a container.php actually that's i from inc so here I, I then uh, we have a design actually uh, uh, we have also included the uh boost files these are in you can see here uh, this is the header file in which we have included the boost framework files actually we are using here the design of boost framework so now we have started here this is the design of our index.php so here actually uh, we have a table here employee list this is the table employee in which we are rendering the records from the table employee so we have a js file data in which we are initializing the data actually this is a simple uh, html table but we will render the data using the jquery table actually this uh, table automatically convert to a very responsive user friendly table uh, when we use this with the jquery table so actually here is the employee list table, uh, id and then on on this id we are initializing the data table here on this here and making the ajax equate to the action.php uh, with action list employee so the when the page loaded the data table initialized and then ajax request sent to the action.php with action list employee to get the employee list to render in a jquery data table so uh, we will see the action.php actually 
So here is accent.php in which uh, you can see we have included the employee.php. This is the class. And then we have object of the employee class and then we are calling the function so the here is action list employee so we can see here the list employee here we are checking the action then we have called the employee list method from the class employee here we are using the object emp and then calling the func method employee list so here we are calling the employee list method. so now we will see the class employee here so this is the class employee here uh, here first we are uh, included the config.php so let's also see the config .php. in config.php we have a function dv config in which we are passing the mysql database connection detail here is local host root password blank and the db name is cred operation so this is the details of our database and here you can see uh, we have a class employee extend dv config and then we have a construct in which we are checking if db not connect connection not established then we have object of db config database then we are uh, setting the assigning the db connection details and then passing to the mysql i and then uh, we have a connection and then we have a uh, this db connect equal con uh, means we are assigning the connection to the db connect then we are using this everywhere to uh, performing the action with mysql database table so now uh, this is the connection here is list now we have a method called employee list so we will uh, search the method here this is the employee list method here you can see here uh, we have a SQL query for on employee table and then uh, we are executing a mysql query passing the connection and query we have a result here so we have a result then we we are uh, looping through the result and then storing to the array and passing area json in code with the syntax output that we are needing needed with the field so uh, finally this data is get and finally list to the render to the employee table in uh, using the jquery table so this is the data here listed here and actually we can see that there is only one record currently here so the one record is listed here so now this is the listing of our data employee data the next step uh, we can add new record here so if we have a employee model here this is the employee model here the employee model HTML is here and then we have a this is the employee model here and in which we have a field like mp name you can see here actually we when we click on the mp name age skills add a designation all these fields are here in in this employee model and also we have a action here like you can see here the action we are, we are setting here so the form is opening form the form is opening when we click on actually we have a you can see here we have add employee add employee id i deploy new employee so here we can search this this is the i deploy we have a click event on this click handler click handler on which we are opening the employee model here this is resetting the employee form and then we are setting the title of the model i employee also setting the action also setting the action i employee here and save button add so when we open this you will change this add employee and add so this is change uh, suppose we edit this then it, it will be a edit employee so th this form is open here uh, also uh, when we listing the records you can see here we have if we have a, we have a update button there is an update class so when we click on the update actually when we, the update model is open so the update model is opening from here uh, when click on the update class in employee list table then we have a emp id and also we have a action get employee and we are making a jx request to the action.php with action this and then getting the details and setting the edit model to edit the employee details so here we, we will check the get employee action here this is the uh, get employee action here and getting the details so get employee we will check the method here 
this is the get employee mail in which we are checking if the EMP ID then getting the details from employee table and returning the data as a JSON encode as a JSON data so and finally this is loaded in a form so when we click on the update button the details is set here also when we add this the blank form is this way and we need to enter the details and finally when we enter the details here or it is something then the form is handled from here actually the form name is we have also the, the form is uh, the form here you can see the employee form so we have a employee form here and we are handling the employee form submission using the jquery submit and we have here handled this uh, whether it's a uh, new employee record ad model or a edit model both are handled through there actually the employee uh, job the form id is same for both actually that's that's the same model actually the action is changed uh, according to the ad or edit action so here making the ajax post the action.php with method post and form data when success the exact success then we uh, we have employee form reset and hiding the employee model and then also refreshing the jquery table data means uh, employee ajax data we are uh, refreshing the table data so now uh, when this is made then we have action like uh, add employee update employee so now we will say the add employee here actually when new record add the action will be add employee and add employee method called when the when the call updated then the update employee action and update record so first we will see the add employee here this is the add employee method in which we are inserting uh, employee data like name age skills address into the tables here so we are and uh, here executing the query and inserting the records and same as when the uh, record updated then the update employee method is called here so we can we have this is the update employee method it will be checking the emp id then we have a update query here on employee table and updating the employee details here so this is the id employee and update employee functionality now we check the functionality here like suppose we are adding the like record like william and we have a record like name william age 20 skills like javascript address anything like abcd and uh, designation is uh, can say software engineer so when we add this the record you can see here uh, the record is added here and when we add the record like we can we add full name something can give john william and javascript we can also add php can add html so these will be updated here you can see the details are updated we can also update the address like we can add here like france so like address here like paris then the details is updated here so the details uh, will be updated uh, updated in into the mysql database inserted into mysql database and it is the updated here refreshed here actually this is refreshing where this is refreshing from here the employee data so uh, this is the uh, add and update employee also uh, we can uh, delete the record like we, we add some record like here we have added this And if you want to delete, it will ask, are you say you want to delete the request? So the delete functionality is handled here. This is the delete. Uh, when click on the delete, uh, actually here we have a uh, class delete. We have a class delete. This is the delete class. When we click on this, it will ask, for, are you say you want to delete the record? Then the Ajax is made to the action.php with action mp delete. Now we'll see the mp delete here is mp delete and the delete employee method is called so now we will check the delete imply method here this is the delete imply method in which we are checking the emp id then we have a delete query to delete the record from the employee table and executing the query so this is the method to delete the record from the employee table so now if we click on this and okay the record is deleted from here so this is the functionality to delete the employee record so so guys you have seen here 
uh, how you can easily implement the CRUD operation to uh, list the record, show the record, read the record, add new record, update the record, and delete the record with uh, using the jQuery data tables. Guys, it's a very interesting project. You can try in your application, implement, and enhance this. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. So don't uh, forget to like and share this video and also subscribe our channel. Thank you.